In our weekly tourism update, tourist arrivals in September reached 111,938, pushing the year-to-date number to over 1 million. This is the first time in three years that the 1 million mark has been achieved. The primary source market in the month was India, followed by China and the United Kingdom. There was an increase in Chinese visitors as a result of the Golden Week holidays. Sri Lanka's tourism authorities have set a year-end target of 1.55 million visitors. Looking at regional tourist destinations, Thailand is reeling from a mall shooting which killed two foreigners. The Southeast Asian nation wants to attract 25 million tourists this year, with Chinese travelers being a key focus. The current period is seen as a key tourism week, with Bloomberg estimating that 21 million Chinese are to take flights during the mid-autumn festival and the national daybreak. Sri Lanka's tourist establishments implemented minimum rates for rooms and meal services effective 1st October. Room rates will now range from 20 to 100 US dollars depending on the star class categorization. However, the Sri Lanka Association of Inbound Tour Operators urged caution, saying it will lead to Sri Lanka being perceived as an expensive destination and negatively impact its competitiveness. From Friday, a passenger service from Nagapatinam, India to the port of Kankasanthuri, Jaffna will be launched. Travel time between the two ports will be three hours and is slated to benefit maritime travel and tourism in the northern region. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority informed registered establishments and services to renew their SLTDA license as well as the liquor license for 2024. Due to the pandemic and economic crisis, the licenses was not strictly adhered to. And with that, we wind up for this week. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel at the link below for more updates on economic and business developments in Sri Lanka. Until we see you again next week, thank you for watching. Stay safe.